grade lesson 106. This is on reading and ordering decimal numbers through ten thousands. So let's do something really quickly. Okay, I'm going to put a draw a decimal. Okay, and let's just quickly tell me what those three are. Ones, tens, hundreds. Ones, tens, and hundreds. Ones, tens, hundreds. And remember, it just keeps going on and on and on and on. And on. We're not going to talk about that today. Yeah. We want to talk about after the decimal today. Four places after. So we're going to draw four lines. And we're going to discover. Draw this? Yep, write those down. That's good. Okay? So the first thing I want to ask you is what place is this? Do you remember? Next to the decimal, to the right. Um, that's tenths. Very good. Okay. Do you know what the next one is? Um. You still write it down? Yeah. Okay. Hundredths. Hundredths. And you got to make sure that you're doing the THSs. You are, I'm just saying. When you're writing it, make sure you're writing it the right way. So we've got ones, tens, hundreds, and then on this side we have tenths, hundredths, then what? Thousands. Thousands. Then thousands, millions. Probably. Almost millions, not yet. After thousands is ten thousands, then hundred thousands. Oh. Uh, okay? So ten oh. thousands. Got it? As so far ten, as ten, ten comma zero zero zero. I I'm doing number wise. You're doing Oh, ten comma zero zero zero. Okay. Ten thousandths. Okay, very good. So, remember how if I was saying I had $3.44. $3.44. Okay. What would I demonstrate that for with? with um, tenths. Tenths. I would yeah. use dimes, right? Yeah. Four dimes. Four dimes. That's why you dimes are the same thing as tenths. And that'd be like 40. Uh huh. So. This would be like four pennies yeah. out of a hundred. Got it? Mm -hmm. So this would be pennies. Okay? We do not learn anything else past pennies in the United States. You don't actually use any other coins. Mm -hmm. But there is something called a mill. M-I-L-L-S. Mills. And you will see mills like this. Um, let's say I went to the gas station at Thornton's. And it told me that the gas is $3.00. And 47 cents, and then up here at the top, it has like a nine right there. It looks, it kind of looks like a G. It has a nine at the top. Do you ever see that number? No. You never do? Look next time you're at the gas station. Okay? And you'll see this. This is $3.47 for a gallon of gas. And then it'll have that nine right there. That's a meal. And if it had one more meal, this would change to an eight. Oh. Uh. So they get it as close to 47 cents, almost 48 cents. Okay. Because 10 of those mills equals one more penny. Okay? So what I want you to write down is that um, 10 mills equals one penny. And this one has nine mills. 10 mills, M-I-L-L-S, -L -L equals one penny. And then... Got it? Penny... Okay. With a Y, penny? With y. Penny. Okay. Okay. Ten mils equals one penny. All right, so do you get this? You understand it? Mm -hmm. So if anybody ever tells you something about a mils, you'll know that that's that, that yeah. we see. Okay? Now, I'm going to leave this up here. I'm going to erase these things after it. Okay? I want you to see those still. Okay? And if I told you to use words... To name 12 and, I don't know, I better be quiet because I'm about to say it, 12.625, okay? This is how you would say it. You just tell me what it is before the decimal, 12. Okay. And then I want you to read this in threes. 625 and whatever place you end with is what you say last. So, 12 and 625 thousands. thousands. That's how you would say that. So, if I wrote this, I would say, uh, they're asking me to write with words. I would say 12 and 
twenty five hundreds. See that? Mm -hmm. And do you remember how twenty five? I'm yeah. supposed to do a tech dash. Yeah. Okay. Twenty five is a number that needs a dash into it. Anywhere from twenty to a hundred. Where you say 25, 44, 87, you always put a dash in it. Okay? So do you get how we named that? Yeah. All right. Now, the next thing they want you to do, I'm just going to leave that up there for now, is they want me to round this 7.345. And here's what they tell me. Round 7.345 to the nearest whole number. Okay. Between which two whole numbers is this number? Um, it's 7 and something. So it's in between 7 and 8. Do you see that? Yeah. This number, this is our whole numbers. Anything that's past the, the decimal this way, those are our whole numbers. These are called decimal numbers. Whole numbers? decimal numbers. And they want to know what between which two numbers is this whole number. Is the, I mean is this number? It's between 7 and 8. It so it'd be what middle? In between 7 and 8. What would be our middle number? 7.5 mil. Very good. 7.5. No, you don't have to it's 7.5 tenths. Okay, because the 5 is right there. Okay. Okay, which would really be 7.500. Zero, zero. Remember the zeros don't matter. Yeah. Okay. So, these are terminal zeros that don't matter. So, this is 7.5, okay, or 7.500. Zero, zero. So, where would the 7.345 go? Over here or over here? Uh, probably more toward the 7. It would. So, the answer would be 7. The answer to the 7.345 would be 7 because it's closer to the whole number 7 than the whole number 8. Because it did not pass the 7.5. Yeah. Remember, 0.5 is always our halfway more. Okay? Okay. You get that pretty good? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's try another one. Still leaving our chart up there. Okay, this one's just a comparison. 4.5 and 4.456. Four, now... Whenever you have a problem like this, do I have to I'm like gonna, round them and then answer them? What I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna show you how to do is this. Whenever you are comparing less than, greater than, equal to decimals, always, always, always bring them down here and line up the decimals. Ready? Four point five, four point four five six. What can I fill in these two spots with? Zeros. Very good. Now, which one's bigger? 4.500 or 4.456? 500. Very good. So this would go like that. Even though this has more decimal numbers, it's still smaller because I only have four dimes. This one has five dimes. Yeah. Okay? You get it? Mm -hmm. So it has more money. Yeah. With it, if we're looking at money, but we're actually doing decimals. All right? Yep. Two more examples, and you're done. Okay? So help me out. You're going to do this one with me. You're going to come up here and do it. I've got 0 0.45. Okay. And I've got 0 0.457. And I've got 0 0.5. And I've got 0 0.0475. And they're wanting us to line these up from least to greatest. Okay. So, what I want you to do is come up here. And what's the most important thing I want you to do when you're working with decimal numbers? Wait, so we're finding the biggest one? Yes. But remember, okay. when you're comparing them, what's the most important thing to do? I don't Bring know. them down here and oh, like line, line up the your decimals. decimals. Bring those numbers down here and line those decimals up. 
Very good. And then the uh -huh. Now, let's just order them from least to greatest. Put in one, put a one by the smallest one. What do you mean? Oh, okay. You're going to order them. Okay, put a two by the next one. Uh, that one. Good. Three and four. Excellent. He did a great job. He did it just right. So he took all of these numbers and brought them down here. Okay? Good job. And then once he brought the numbers down here, he lined up the decimals. And then he filled in everything else with zeros. Okay? And then he looked at them and said this one was the smallest because he put a one beside it. Then he said this next one, then this one, and then this one. Very good. So he put them in order from smallest to biggest, just like that. All right, last problem and we're done. All right, here's what it tells me to do. Write this number as an unreduced fraction. So they're wanting you to write it as a fraction, but don't reduce it, unreduced. Okay? What do you mean by that? So we're going to try to take this decimal number and write it into a fraction. How do I do that? Watch. You find that you do the chart probably, and then find the tens, hundredths. Okay. So what spot is this? That would be tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten, ten thousandths. Very good. Okay. So whatever that number ends on, you said what? Uh, 10,000. You're going to write that number on the bottom fraction, the denominator. 10 thousandths. Okay. Okay? That's our denominator. So wherever the number ends, now if it had zeros past this, that's not where the number ends. If the, that, I mean, th this is still where the number ends. Okay. Because zeros don't mean anything. Yeah. Once they're past it. Those are called terminal zeros when we get rid of those. So wherever the number ends, that's not a zero anymore, and it doesn't have the rest of zeros, that's what you write on your denominator. In your numerator, you write the number that's in past this decimal. What number do you see? Um, 475,000. That's exact. Not, oh, just 475 is the numerator. Okay. And then whatever place it ends on, right here is the ending one. You put that on the denominator. So now I wrote this number as a fraction. Right. For example, let's try another one. 0 0.05. How would I write that as a fraction? Help me out. What spot is this? Um, tenths. Tenths. Hundredths. Okay, so we ended. So what goes on the bottom on the denominator? The hundred. Uh huh. And what goes on the top? Uh, point. Just uh, zero five. Just five or zero five. Yeah. Five and zero five are the same thing. Yeah. Because they're terminal zeros. Mm -hmm. That's this as a fraction. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Or you could look at a fraction and, and make it make into it a, a decimal. How many spots am I going to have to after the decimal? What? I need to go to hundredths, right? So watch so this. Decimal, tenths, hundredths. And it'd be 22 right there. And then I'd put a 22 in there. Isn't that cool how you can do that? Yeah. So you can make any fraction, as long as it's tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands on the bottom, into a decimal number. Pretty fun, huh? Yeah. That's lesson 106.